Boys, if you need some cheap Madden coins to build your Madden team, go check out my new sponsor, EasyMutt.com. The link is in the top of the description and use code DOM for 5% off your order. They're the cheapest and the fastest and the safest. Go check it out. Boys, today's golden ticket reveal might be just the best one so far. It is a card that everybody is going to want, even fans of other NFC East teams that have to play against this team every single year, multiple times a year. Now, before I get into this, boys, if we get 1,000 likes on this video, I will be dropping my biggest video of the year tomorrow. 1,000 likes. It is going to be an absolute banger. I will be dropping it at 6 Eastern time. So be on the lookout for that video. The second you see the title, you will know why this is the biggest video of the year. And I could not be more excited to reveal that video tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern time, boys. Be there instantly. You do not want to miss this. Get your popcorn ready. Comment down below who you would make as a golden ticket and what you think about this card once you're done watching the video. Let's get into the reveal. Now, boys, the player I am talking about plays for a team that was in the Super Bowl this year, the Philadelphia Eagles. It is a legend. Now, when you see this player on the field, he's very easy to notice. He's extremely tall. He's an absolute monster and he can moss you on both sides of the ball. We are talking about none other than the man himself, Harold Carmichael. But I am not talking about the wide receiver version, gentlemen. We are talking about the best cornerback in the rest of Madden Ultimate Team. Bare minimum, a top two cornerback in the rest of Madden Ultimate Team because I am working on a golden ticket with another subscriber that I will be revealing later this week. It is about the only corner in this game that could be better than him. Shout out to Brody. I greatly appreciate you reaching out to me. He pulled this golden ticket. Now, before I get into the stat boost and everything that we chose, I just want to point out, I literally, anytime someone comes to me asking for help on a golden ticket, I do not say a single thing trying to get them to make something that they don't want to make. If someone comes to me with a list of names or something and they ask me what the best one is, then I will say what the best one is. But if they say one player or something, I'll literally respond like, oh, that's an awesome idea. That's going to be a beast card. Because at the end of the day, it's their golden ticket, not mine or yours or anybody else's. I would literally never try and tell someone to make a card that they don't want to make. It's as simple as that. If they come to me with some names, I will help them make the best version of whichever of those names that they want to make. My boy, bro, here has chosen cornerback Harold Carmichael out of position card. So what we are going to do with this man is turn him into an absolute monster, boys. If you look at the 95, he's actually pretty much stacked in a lot of the coverage positions. He's actually pretty stacked in a lot of the coverage things. So press is really high, zone's really high, man is really high, his speed is really good, his acceleration is lower, but we can't boost that because it's a physical attribute. He's also six foot eight and 225, so he's an absolute monster. His strength is decent enough where even if you know we got to boost it, we really wouldn't need to. It's a physical attribute once again. So when you look at this card, Hard. what you need to upgrade for the most part is run defense stuff so he can be a monster in coverage and against the run people love to run in this game so you need players all across the board that can play run defense really well so Xerxes and I consulted with each other on what would be best for this card and what we came up with is upgrading the block shed from 81 hopefully to like mid 90s would be fantastic then we're gonna go with hit power just to make sure it hits that 99 overall I'm not very confident that it will at 90 going from 94 to 99 overall. And then we're going to go with impact block, which is at 81 right now. So hopefully that goes up into the mid to high 90s. And then tackling needs to go up a little bit as well. And then we're going to go with pursuit for the final one. We could choose man coverage, but I mean... I think realistically speaking, there's a good shot he gets 99 regardless. And I would rather boost one thing like plus like 15 than another stat like one higher than it would have been anyways, if that makes sense. Just to make him all around a much better card and much more usable in every situation. And then as for the ability buckets, we haven't really nailed it down exactly what we want to go with yet. Just because it's going to be kind of hard to mess up with a cornerback like this. So this is subject to change, but the ability buckets we were considering going with is one man bucket and then three zone buckets just to make sure he gets just about every single ability possible for one AP and then for the zero AP buckets possibly one step ahead and pick artists but we're gonna look more into that and make sure we just nail everything on this card to make it the best card possible but that is what we are considering going with as of right now 
And again, it is subject to change. So again, we could end up changing it. So this is 100% correct. But all of the stat boosts that we chose are 100% what we're going to go with. We think those are the best ones possible. The only thing that may change is the ability buckets and the zero AP ability. But this will turn Harold Carmichael into easily, and I mean easily, as of right now, the best confirmed golden ticket cornerback in the entire game. Now, like I said, I will be revealing another insane defensive back later this week, golden ticket on the channel that could rival this card, but that's for another day. Now, boys, there was a couple things throughout this video I did not mention that I completely just kind of skimmed over. So what I wanted to say and add on to this is first things first, the Harold Carmichael does get a couple of different uh, chemistries on him. He gets Eagles and Cowboys. I obviously would not expect to be getting the Legends or Zero Chill Cam on him. But when I said in the intro, other NFC East teams will fear this card. I completely had forgotten that he played for the Cowboys. So he will be getting Cowboys and Eagles chemistry. Additionally, to uh, you know, help any concerns about the stuff we chose and why we chose it, he obviously has incredible stats already. Like he, he has the man, he has the zone, he has the press, he has everything you would want. The only thing he really needs upgrading is the run support stuff, like the impact blocking, the block shed, the pursuit stuff like that is going to need upgrading. We chose hit power just to make sure it gets to 99, just to give him that extra, you know, little bit of hit power on guys so he can level them a little bit better. And then of course tackling, you need good tackling. The run game is so good in Madden right now that you are going to need some cornerbacks with the golden ticket program that are better than safeties at tackling essentially at least in my opinion so I think we chose the best boost for him the reason I did not say we aren't 100% sure on the ability buckets and the zero AP abilities is just because we don't know whether we're going to change and think something else is better so if we do decide on that then I'll have an update on the channel in a future golden ticket video saying like oh also on the Harold Carmichael video we just decided to change X and Y and Z. So just wanted to clear all of that up. I think personally, this is going to be one of the best cards in the entire game. He's six foot eight for God's sakes. And he's a cornerback with wide receiver stats. He will be absolutely disgusting. There's some people that think, you know, the super tall players don't play that great. And they, you know, glitch on animations. That remains to be seen. I haven't really dealt with that all year long, but I think this Carmichael is going to be an absolute demon and he should have just about 99 everything. The acceleration is the only thing I wish we could boost, but unfortunately we can't. Same with awareness, stuff like that. We just can't boost it and play rec. Uh, if we could, we'd be picking stuff like that. But unfortunately, you can't pick the physical traits. So we got to go with the tackling stuff and the run defense stuff. But hopefully you guys are excited for this card. Comment down below if you are. I would love to see who is excited for this card. And uh, yeah, I'm stoked to show this to you guys. Thank you again to Brody for, uh, you know, let me help him with this. Tomorrow, once again, I will be dropping the biggest video of the entire year, boys, at 6 p.m. Eastern time. If you want to be there first and learn the news first, get to that video as soon as it drops. I cannot wait to be there with you guys. You are going to love it. If it's out already, though, it'll be right here. If not, then this will be me revealing another golden ticket that I helped make a couple of days ago that is going to be the best quarterback in the game. Go check it out. I'll see you right there in a second.